Hello everyone, so first we're taking these mesmerised contacts, moisturising my face and also priming my eyes using the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette as well for the eyeshadow. So I'm first going in with the shade Chaser and defining my crease with this and then going in with Source just to add a bit more definition and build up and the same with Low Blow just to build up the shades and make it more defined. Then I'm going in with Cayenne and adding this into my outer corner and the crease and blending that in. Then going in with the shade He Devil which is a lovely burgundy red and adding this in in the outer corner as well. Then I'm going to put my NYX white shadow base onto my eyes just so I can add a bit more pigment on using the shade Scorched. So I'm just now patting this on so I can get a nice sort of cut crease um, and now I'm also going to be using the Snazaroo just to put my eyeshadows down and then conceal with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15 then just powder it. Priming my face now with the Professional Primer by Benefit and then using the Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Then I'm using my Vici Derma Blend Translucent Powder just to set my makeup. Then I've just used a brow pomade by L'Oreal to do my brows using the Clinique Chubby Stick to contour my face quite heavily as this will show the wolf kind of look and the darkness of your kind of outer faces. But then blending that in with a sculpting brush by Real Techniques, adding a bit more bronze using the Hoola Light Bronzer by Benefit, which is a really nice bronzer just to add. Then using the Model Co Contour Stick, I'm going to blend that out too. Also we'll be using my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil to define my nose, concealing my areas also and then spraying with the Urban Decay Fixing Spray. And done my eyeliner with the Steeler Slay All Day and also lining my lips with the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil using the Huda Beauty in the shade Flirt and adding my eyelashes which are the Samantha 7 Lashes by Huda Beauty. Now I'm using my Snazaroo FX Wax just to kind of create the scars from a wolf scratch or a claw mark. It wasn't my best work, I'm not going to lie. Um, but as you can see, it is a bit fiddly. I have done a video on how to create claw marks, so if you want to go check that out, I'll put that in the link in the description box below. So you want to do three, like I've just shown you, then cover them in with foundation. And then you can create some slits in between them. Please be careful when you do this. I just use a blunt pair of tweezers. Then you want to powder that with some translucent powder. I just used a Vici Derma Blend powder. This just helps set it. And then after that, you want to grab your fake blood ready. So the fake blood I'm using is just one I bought off the internet. You can pretty much get them in any convenience store or anywhere really at the moment because it's Halloween. I suggest a dark one because dark ones are quite good. Also just using a little spray too because that adds a bit more effect. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, as you can see my top is covered in powder. So make sure you wear a different top to what you're actually wearing. Right, so that is the finished look for you guys. I will link everything that I've used down below in the description box. And please go check out my other Halloween videos. I've probably put eye cards to them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying these Halloween looks. Because I have. And my hands are so dirty with fake blood at the moment. Um, but yeah, the favourite part about this look is the contacts for me. I think they just make it. Um, I will link where I got them in as well. But yeah, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.